Hello, Hello Ruslan. Ruslan. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Ruslan, my friend from uh, Ukraine, top distributor of Green World. I just leave uh, the Intercontinental Hotel. One of the most beautiful hotels I've ever seen uh, in my stay in different countries uh, all over the world. And now we just take uh, a walk again uh, in uh, the city of Kiev. This one is the, here I met the St. Uh, Sophia Square. Behind me here is uh, the second largest city in the second uh, largest uh, church in Ukraine. And so you see it's very big and then on this side here, uh, uh, this was the residential area for, for the ministers and the governors during the time when uh, Ukraine uh, was uh, stronger than uh, Moscow during the Soviet, old Soviet uh, time. And this place was very safe for the ministers and the governors and even the president to stay here. The reason is because here you have the second largest church and then down there you have the um, uh, third largest uh, church in uh, Ukraine at that time. St. Michael. Uh, the St. Michael uh, church and uh, this one is the St. Sophia church and so this place is uh, like uh, sacred, is uh, peaceful even all the demonstrations and the destructions that happened in uh, old uh, Kiev none of these uh, touched this uh, place so the ministers and the high government officials were very safe at that time for them to stay um, in this place and this is the St. Sophia uh, Square I'm still uh, here in uh, St. Sophia Square. Um, here is the statue of uh, Bordan Kemeninsky, one of the heroes also of uh, Ukraine. During the 17th century, Ukraine is fighting with uh, Poland, Austria, Hungary, and other European uh, countries. And during this time, uh, Bordan Kemeninsky is one of the heroes uh, for the freedom of uh, Ukraine from these European uh, countries. But when you move on the other side, on his right hand, uh, Bordangi Meninsky is holding um, the symbol of uh, freedom. Um, during the convention here in uh, Ukraine when I was in Odessa, uh, the top leader of Green World uh, in Ukraine, Ruslan and his team, they present to me uh, the Boavav, uh, the symbol of Ukraine or maximum success or achievement uh, in life. And when you see somebody holding uh, that uh, uh, thing in his hand, then you know that this is a symbol of maximum success. So Bordan Kameninsky, because he was one of the key heroes and fighters during this war, so uh, he holds this symbol of maximum achievement and success for the success of Ukraine from the um, powers of uh, Austria, Hungary, Poland and other European uh, countries. In the St. Michael Square and uh, on my left you have the St. Michael uh, Church, the third uh, uh, largest church to be established in Ukraine. And then uh, just on my left now here in the middle is the statue of um, Princess Olga before the Christian uh, movement came into Russia. She was the, the, the last princess uh, and the first one to see the coming in of the Christian uh, people. So on the right and left you see the Christian uh, missionary statues because when they came here this was the princess that they met and from that time we have the Christian uh, movement all over uh, Ukraine and all over Russia today. The, the beautiful building with uh, the diplomatic academy for the high level Grand Master's uh, degree in Ukraine. And then uh, there is the Foreign Affairs uh, uh, offices. This is the Foreign Affairs Ministry uh, offices, the grey, uh, beautiful, uh, secular building there. 
painting here at uh, St. Michael's uh, Square, uh, you see the pictures of the different uh, saints, the famous saints of uh, Ukraine. These are the pictures of all the famous saints. And then uh, we, this is the main entrance uh, to go inside uh, the church. So this small room and then you go inside the, the church. You can see uh, uh, some people walking inside, even a uh, priest inside there. <laughs> Now we are inside uh, the St. Michael's Church. This is the center of the St. Michael's Church. Very big, uh, magnificent buildings inside here. Uh, and then we just take a tour of the inside of the St. Michael's Church. My dear, My dear uh, team leaders from uh, Zimbabwe and other surrounding countries, I just choose uh, some small gift for you with the beautiful city of uh, Kiev so that you can see that with Green World you can travel all over the world. One day I hope you can travel to the city of Kiev. This is now uh, the Dnipro River, the second uh, largest river in Europe and it is here in Kiev in Ukraine. This river divides uh, the city of Kiev into two. On this uh, left part, you have the first part of the city. When you look further high up there, you see uh, the temple, of the, the church on top. This is the higher part, and you come down, this is the lower part. But when you go on the other side, uh, on my right there, you see the other part of um, uh, Kiev uh, city. So this river divides uh, the whole uh, city. Uh, this is uh, very beautiful and this is a uh, large ship uh, here. You can see um, inside people having their, their food and uh, all that inside the restaurants. And this is a beautiful city of uh, Kiev. <laughs> This is the Victory Square of the World War II. Ah, it's beautiful here in Kiev. <laughs> this is the main square of uh, independence for Ukraine here in Kiev. And just down there is the main street. Uh, the main street of uh, Kiev city. Uh, before the World War, this was uh, the main um, street where Kiev started from. But during the World War, destroyed partially but uh, rebuilt again and this is now uh, what you see here in Kiev. Freezing and cold but a uh, very beautiful city. <laughs> this guy is uh, uh, the warrior of Ukraine uh, during the fight uh, between Ukraine and uh, Turkey. And this guy was one of the key and strongest fighters during that war. And you see his statue here because of his contribution uh, during that war. Uh, we are in the Independence Square and this statue is um, the independence statue for the freedom of the Ukraine uh, people. And here you just see some of the buildings in the main uh, central city of uh, Ukraine. And uh, very busy uh, street, too much traffic, no parking in the street, too many cars. Because this is an old city and uh, the roads are still uh, narrow. Uh, because now uh, they cannot destroy these buildings to widen the road. And this is uh, the central part of uh, uh, old uh, Kiev. The beautiful flowers there uh, is the biggest flower clock uh, in Europe. So you see there, uh, it's a clock, uh, a moving one, not a dummy one, it's a moving clock. <laughs> which, <laughs> which is the biggest in the whole of Europe and it is here in Kiev, in Ukraine. Okay. The ledge 
legends of uh, Ukraine. These statues are the statues of the three brothers and one sister. These are the four people who founded um, Kiev. Then you see the central um, part of the independence uh, square. And so these people are very important for Ukraine uh, people because they founded the uh, main capital city of uh, Ukraine. And just a few other things that you see around me here. Um, and this city has got a great history. More than 1,400 years ago, these people, they founded um, the city of uh, Kiev. This one uh, is the globe uh, right in the central part here. I'm still in the Independence uh, Square area. Uh, on this globe, uh, you have the distance uh, from Kiev, from this point, to every capital city of the world. And right uh, behind here, this is Harare, uh, uh, the city where I stay. It is 7,592 kilometers away from where I'm sitting right now. And this is in beautiful Kiev. Uh, this is a beautiful country. <laughs> Super. Now is uh, the statue of St. Michael. St. Michael, uh, the protector of uh, Kiev. So they put the statue to show that this is, uh, in Russian, they call it St. Mikhail. St. Mikhail or St. Michael in English, the protector of uh, Kiev uh, city. Дорогие наши друзья, партнеры Greenwald из Африки, ваш супер лидер Тендаи провел нам замечательные тренинги. Он на самом деле очень классный человек, супер лидер. С ним было очень интересно, и наши дистрибьюторы были просто в восторге от него. Поэтому я верю, что скоро я буду в гостях у вас, и мы будем в Африке очень хорошо проводить время. Привет из Киева, из Украины!